what are schools for? Have you ever asked that question? Imagine this bag being the education system, the schools that we went for. I've never asked this question before. When I was six, I picked up this bag and I went for school. My parents, when they sent me to school, they have never asked this question before. You know why? Because the default answer would be to assume that schools prepare us for life. Or do they? I ended up getting the recipe to win in life as get a good job, get good grades in schools, and get a good, after that, get good grades in school, get a good job, and then get a good life. Are you familiar with this recipe? Or have you gotten one yourself? So with this spoon bag on my back, I went on to become the best student in one of the best universities in Malaysia, which is the University of Malaya. I got my first choice of courses, which is mechanical engineering, and I graduated after a long, long, hard, striving effort as first class honors. My first job was into a multinational corporation, and I was a bright star there for one year. Sounds like a very huge dream came true, right? And I ended up very happy. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. The moment I put down this school bag and I graduated, I was totally lost. And I asked myself, I thought that schools are supposed to prepare students for life. And how come I fought my way up to become a top student in the best university in Malaysia? Alright, no offense to SBCSI, yes, right? but <laughs> best university in Malaysia on ranking, on ranking. University of Laya. And I thought I had a good life, but I was lost. Can you relate? Are you lost or were you lost once in your life? Thank you. So I, I went on and asked the question, how do we actually win in life? And where do all the adults go? Since a lot of people share common common problem with me, where do all the adults go when they want to learn how to win in life? And I discovered this industry called personal development. Perhaps you have heard before. So I was obsessed with personal development for the past 10 years. And myself, I personally learn and coach and train for more than 200 people, 150 people, and I've learned this one common truth. Do you want to know what the truth is? Yes. The truth is this. Do you think babies are born doing life a certain way? Or do you think babies are taught how to do life a certain way? Taught. Babies are taught. You and I are the products of all our upbringings combined, all our educations and our influence since we are young, up to where you are today. And I want you to help me for a moment just to imagine going back to your young age, say six years old. Imagine that today you are six years old. Now, probably some of you, it's quite difficult for you to imagine back <coughs> to be six years old. So I introduce you to my friend, Mr. Young. Isn't he gorgeous? Isn't he cute? Six years old, right? Imagine him. He represents you at six years old and all our younger generations combined. He or she is a he represents young people. And there are really seven levels of education that shape Mr. Young and you and I and our younger generations. The first level of education that shape him and you and I is context. Context is your map in life, your bigger why, your direction in life. How do you, because your context will affect all your decisions in your life. And when you ask what was given to us, what was given to me when I was from school is, I brought it in my bag. All right, let's check what schools has given to me. All right, it takes some time. Okay, this is the context that was given by, to me from my school. And here it says, figure out yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Familiar? No wonder our younger generations all think that they are lost somewhere, sometime in life. 
Because we are supposed to figure out ourselves on the one most important thing in our life, which is our direction, our map. But instead of this, what if we can have students and younger generations be fully prepared, hand help, supported to find who they really want to be and their purpose and their direction in life? Wouldn't that be such amazing? You'll have a much greater life, right? The next level is environment. Environment is the people around you. Environment is the culture around you. So schools today, formal education today, what kind of environment do they provide for you? It's conducive for you guys and you and I to get great jobs. Is it conducive for you to get to win in life? I don't think so. Look, look at the peers and the people around you. The people around you, the students, are categorized based on their age groups. They're categorized based on their results, smarter students away from people who can't score in tests. And teachers, they're qualified by knowledge. They're trained to pass on knowledge, not to teach you how to read and write, because they might not even be our reading in life themselves. But what if, if you can have schools qualify, have qualified teachers who are actually reading and doing well, happy in life, Passing on how to do it to the next generation. What if your friends and all your colleagues and your peers in your school are categorized based on values and principles, based on dreams and visions and visions? What kind of students, what kind of younger generations would we have? The next level is character. Is character important? All of us know that character is so much more important in determining how far we can go in life than all your knowledge combined. Yet, in school, formal education system today don't even emphasize on character besides you getting to just score in your moral subject by just memorizing some delight moral. <laughs> How about focusing some and emphasizing on the character of our younger generations and developing some leaders from our younger generations? Right? The next level of your shape is what I call mindset. You might not be familiar with what's mindset, but in the real adult world, real world application, it's really very common because mindset is really how you think about important areas in your life. Important areas such as money, such as health, such as relationship. Mindset is the root that determines your fruit. And like it or not, ladies and gentlemen, all of us have mindset. It's just that whether the mindset is producing the fruit that you want or you don't like. But what if in school we can have people who develop mindsets and teach mindsets? The next level is life skills. Life skills are skills in a similar area as mindset, which are in areas that are important in life. Money, relationship, health, all of this requires skills. Do all of us have to manage money when we come out from school? Yes. So the question is, how come in formal education, in our schools, money is not discussed? How come it's not taught? Right? What if you can learn how to manage your money? How, what if you can learn how to have great relationships and have the skills to manage your health before, before you even go into actual outside, like real life? Then comes career skills. Okay? You must be very familiar with this. Career skills, schools, focus on this, but they focus mainly on generalized career skills. What I mean by that is teamwork, leadership, communication, all generalized. Because they don't have the talent to teach you specified career skills. And students don't even know what kind of career they want. What else can they do besides teaching you some generalized career skills? But what if, because you have developed the foundation for context, environment, character, mindset, life skills, and you know exactly what you want, and you have people who are experienced in that industry to teach you some specified career skills. Wouldn't it be amazing that you go into the industry already having a certain level of skills? You are so much more valuable. And last but not least, information. This is what our schools is best at, feeding our kids with information that probably majority of them we don't use in our life. What does memorizing all the elements of periodic table, their electronic configurations, their chemical properties, and their atomic numbers have to do with helping you to win in life? 
Yet all science students are required to do that, you know? And research has shown that more than 50% of UK graduates actually end up didn't go into the major that they study for. You know what that means? That means, in other words, more than 50% of people spend 20 years preparing for a career they are not even going into. So, my question is, it takes so many years to mold a character. And in today's technology, it takes only a few seconds with your fingertips to get access to all kinds of information you want. Yet our schools are spending year to 20 years to feed students with new kind of information and knowledge and almost no effort to develop our characters. You know when adults go into real world education and they try to learn how to read and write, one of the first things they start doing is not learning new stuff. They start by unlearning what they work. And where do you think all those things that don't work come from? It comes from all our 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years of lessons from our classes and our environments. Mark Twain says it best. It ain't what you don't know that gets you into trouble. It's just what you know for sure that it just ain't so. And you have learned about life from school and from people around you that are not being for way too long that you think that's how life's supposed to be. But I'm saying that instead of learning something that don't work, and learning it, and learning something that work again, why not just get our students prepared with what works in the first place? If you look at our formal education system based on the seven levels of education that I've shown you, you can easily see the priorities of our schools. They prioritize on information, Right? Stopping students with information and they start to develop you on your career skills. Yet they spend almost no effort in terms of life skills, mindsets, characters, preparing an environment that is conducive for you to win in life. And last but not least, remember, figure out yourself the context. Do you think, imagine this shape on Mr. Young and all our younger generations. Do you think this is a stable sh shape? And I wonder why people are complaining about our younger generations that they are lost in life. They are fragile, they are soft. They don't have the right values. They cannot take up heat. Yet when you look at this picture, it's so clear, isn't it? But what if our education system can be reformed and built up in another way. What if instead of this shape, we give them the right context, we focus on giving them the right direction, helping them to have a clear map in their life, and we give them an environment that's conducive for them to win in life. The right kind of teachers qualified by their life results, the right kind of peers grouped together with visions and missions and values, we develop their characters as leaders, and mindset, life skills, career skills, and information. What if the priorities is set this way? Don't you think so that the students are much more having a greater chance? Really, what are schools for? Because when enough of you and I start asking that question, our education system might just geared towards the right kind of direction, which is supposed to prepare students to win in life, instead of preparing them for winning in a job. And education is really important. I'm sure you agree. Because younger generations, even though young people, you form less than 50% of the world's population, 100% of our future are in their hands. So I urge all of you, the next time you see any young kid pick up this school bag, or maybe next time when you send your kids to schools, or even when you are preparing yourself for classes, I want, I want you to ask this very, very important question. What are schools for? Thank you.